Here's what's hot brought to you by JMMB Group, your best interest at heart. NCB Financial Group Chairman Michael Leachin says shareholders will get a dividend payment in time for Christmas. Leachin made the declaration to the Jamaica Observer following news that the company's board is scheduled to vote on the matter this week. According to a statement from NCB, the board of directors will vote on a recommendation for a dividend payment on Friday. NCBFG has not paid dividends in over two years. The company, which has a banking insurance and investment arm, has over 44,000 shareholders. Supreme Ventures is expanding its financial service arm of the business by entering the remittance market. The company, through its subsidiary Supreme Ventures Fintech, recently received a primary agent license from the Bank of Jamaica to operate as a remittance agency. Supreme Ventures is partnering with Lasco Financial's RIA Money Transfer to form the Evolve Money Transfer brand. According to SVL, the company is targeting rapid growth in the space. SVL has over 1,300 retail agent locations across the island for its betting and gaming business. However, remittance agents would have to be certified by the Bank of Jamaica. Victoria Mutual Building Society says it has closed all its ABMs not located inside a VM branch. VMB has said the move, which went into effect last Friday, was triggered by an increase in attempts to steal or vandalize its ABM network. The company said customers will be able to use VMB's ABMs located in branch during normal business hours. Outside of business hours, customers can access their funds at over 800 non VMBS ABMs on the Multilink network. The company said that it would be waiving fees for these transactions. The Chinese economy recorded its first period of negative foreign direct investment in decades. Foreign direct investment for China in the second quarter of the year came in at roughly 5 billion US dollars, an 87% decrease and the largest drop since 1998. Economists say that the data is another sign that Beijing's economy is recovering slower than expected after the pandemic. They said that conducting business in China, which is the world's second largest economy, is becoming increasingly difficult and the country's economy is unquestionably in rough shape. The Actors' Union in the United States has approved a deal that will end the longest actors' strike against the film and TV studios in Hollywood history. The 118-day strike officially ended last Thursday and will see actors having protections against artificial intelligence and a historic pay increase. The four-month-long strike is estimated to have cost the U.S. economy roughly $6 billion. What's Hot was brought to you by JMMB Group, your best interest at heart.